debrief. This time, Post 10 Commander Bill Allman. fellow soldiers and for the veterans who serve before them. They do it to preserve American core values, God and country, family, patriotism, and the freedom of religion. They do it for they do it for their children so that they can grow up to, to be an American that is strong and free. It is through this last item, our children, that we, that we as a grateful nation can tangibly honor the memories of our heroes. According to the recent article in the Newsweek, more than 1,200 U.S. citizens have lost their parents in Iraq and Iraq. With almost half of a fighting force made up of parents, it is likely that many more children will lose a mom or dad in the war. Life as these children have known it will never be the same. In most cases, their chances of attending college will greatly diminish. That is why the American Legion our, uh, honors our fallen heroes with the American Legion Scholarship Fund. <clears throat> the only day in the year we as a nation The American Legion is raising funds to ensure that higher education will be a reality for those children who lost their parents in the military. Providing for the children of our military personnel killed in the war is our moral duty. Making sure they have the opportunity their parents cannot provide is perhaps the greatest tribute we can give our fallen heroes. We miss our comrades. Of all war, who lay down their lives for our country. Let us never, let us forever remember their sacrifice. God bless them. God bless you for caring enough to be here today. Thank you.
Thank you, Commander Allman. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to present State Senator Chuck Colgan. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. I don't know how many of you might have visited the D-Day Memorial in Bedford, Virginia. But for those of you who haven't, I hope you will. Uh, the D-Day Memorial is in tribute, in, is built in, in, in Bedford in tribute to 21 sons of Bedford who gave their lives on December 6, 1944, the invasion of Normandy. 21 young men, all from the same small town. What a sacrifice that was, that town. Uh, if you go, if you go to, there were uh, two brothers, I should say, uh, that participated, that participated that, year, that day and both died. One of them had, his body was missing, couldn't find him. The other, the other, the other one did, did find him. Uh, but sometime later, a soldier, several days later, a soldier found the Bible of the missing boy. And inside that Bible was the name and address of his sister. So the soldier sent the Bible to his sister. And if you go to Bedford, you see a statue. What really got, got me was a statue of a soldier carrying his rifle. He's got another soldier by the, the back of his collar. He's dragging him along, obviously trying to get the cover. And the boy, he, the soldier he is dragging, has a Bible in his knapsack, and the Bible is falling out of the knapsack onto the ground. It's a very touching moment. But I think a, 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 a trip to Bedford See that memorial reminds, reminds all of us of the sacrifice made by those who gave their lives to this country. World War I, World War II, Korea, Vietnam, Gulf War, Afghanistan, Iraq. They always stand ready, and many of them have died. I've never met a veteran who wasn't very proud of the service that he or she gave to the country. And if you ask the veteran, what is your proudest, proudest accomplishment, most of them will say, the opportunity to serve my country. So to them, I, I say to you, uh, thank you. Uh, I'm a member of, I'm a, I'm a member of Post 10 myself. I forgot my hat today. Nevertheless, <laughs> so I, I, I thank Post 10 for this annual event that you sponsor, and uh, I think it's a, a great thing that you do. Thank you very much. Cool.